Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Walt's How To's and Reviews. This is part two of a part three series of me taking one gram of NMN and a half a gram of resveratrol every single day and just telling you what happened. Um, I took some blood tests in part one. I'm gonna take another blood test for part three that'll show the before and afters and if anything changed. Um, but right now I'm 42 days in. Last video I was seven days in. I said I didn't really feel anything. Do I feel anything now? Yes, I do. I feel like I have more energy and I wouldn't be surprised if it's placebo. You know, I'm taking something, I'm expecting a positive outcome and then my brain tricks myself into thinking I'm feeling a positive outcome. But if you really ask me what I really believe, I think it's the drugs, but I don't know. I don't know. Who knows? But that's just how I feel. And uh, the best way to describe it is, you know, I'm more productive at the beginning of my day than at the end of my day. Usually around two, three o'clock is when I start to taper off. But there's definitely been a lot of days while I've been taking this where I didn't taper off. I just felt like I could go all day long and had sustained energy levels. Um, it was almost kind of tough because I, I normally take, you know, a Red Bull, a five hour, a cup of coffee around that two or three o'clock time. And I didn't feel like I really needed one, but I also still wanted to drink the Red Bull because I wanted to make sure I was not really changing too much with my diet so I didn't affect the blood results in some other way. Um, but that's just how I felt. As far as hard evidence, you know, maybe I'll look younger in the video, I, I highly doubt it. But uh, I asked, you know, like my wife, like, do I have like less wrinkles on the side of my eye when I squint and stuff? And she's like, no, yes, I definitely think you're looking younger. And then when I ask my buddies, they kind of laugh at me, bust my balls and tell me I look really old. So I think that's just, you know, them saying, I, I, I wouldn't take that for, um, hard evidence, but I did for try to get some hard evidence, get my hair cut. And right before I got my hair cut, this was like right after I started taking this, um, I had my wife, I'll play it right now while this is going, take a, a video of my hair and I have gray hair and I'm hope, hoping after the two months that it grows out to about the same length and then do that same video again and put them side by side and see if anything changed. You know, also check the roots. We're only talking about you know, two months of hair growth, and I don't think that's much hair, but we'll see if I can get some hard evidence like, hey, yes, I do have less gray hair now. Um, the only other hard evidence would be the blood test results in part three to see if anything changed with them. Thank you for the comments. I saw a few people saying that I should be taking it sublingual, which is like under the tongue, and the idea is if you swallow this stuff, your um, stomach acids are gonna destroy it and it won't get absorbed in your intestines and get into your bloodstream and take the full effect. Not sure how true that is, but you know, no harm in trying it. So the last few days I've actually been administering it that way. I've taken, I just put it in my mouth, put as much under my tongue as possible of the whole gram. I don't know if it all fits there, but it just sits in my mouth and dissolves. Try not to eat or drink anything for a couple minutes. And um, the last few days I was telling my wife yesterday, it's like, I actually feel like I'm even more amped, like I have more energy. So it'll be interesting to see, you know, the remainder of this uh, trial, I'm gonna take it sublingually where at the beginning I took it, um, you know, just swallowed it. And I'll, I'll let you guys know in part three if I do feel like there's a difference in taking it that way. It seems like other videos, comments on this video, everyone has a positive effect from taking this. I did do some research and found some, you know, somebody's got to rain on the parade of this miracle drug. But people saying that, you know, you got to worry about methylation and that you can deplete your methyl donors. And that can lead to things like, you know, poor mood, um, irritability and fatigueness. And I haven't noticed any of those things, thank God. Um, I think it takes a little bit of time for that to take effect and that, you know, they're claiming that if you test your blood, you should be able to see these things show up. Uh, two of the things were AST, ALT, which are liver enzymes, which if you watched my first video, mine were actually a little bit high. So I'll be really curious to see if that changes anything. Um, one video I watched mentioned three other things that um, you can test in your blood that weren't tested in mine. So I'm gonna ask when I go get blood tested again if they can do that. Um, just so I can get that information to you guys like, hey, here's one concern for me that did or did not happen. So hopefully I, I can get that information to you guys. I think I covered everything I wanted to. I did. So um, yeah, stay tuned for the next one. Again, I feel good. I feel real, real good. So we'll see what happens. Thanks for watching. See you next time.